Welcome to Yoga Galactic and Love Scream. This is the Night Shift Edition. Boom. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. It's been so hot today. I feel a little, yeah. A little tired. We asked for warm weather. don't feel tired at all. They're giving us a show. I'm going to share this on my Facebook page. We did ask for warm weather, but man. Yeah, this was a little abrupt. Oh, man, it's going to be 96 here in L.A. tomorrow, April 24th. I think oh. it was like 93 today. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And if you could see what the dogs are doing right now, they're right in front of the camera. <laughs> it would put a smile on your face. Or terrifying. No, there, there's nothing terrifying about what they're doing. It's actually really sweet. Well, if you've ever seen a 10-pound dog trying to make love to a 45-pound dog that is oblivious to what's happening. Make just, love. <laughs> well, that's what I like to call it. Eh. They're making some sweet love. Anyways, that's what's happening that you're missing. But <clears throat> I'm sure if you're tuning in now, you've seen it here with us before. And uh, if you're lucky, they'll come over here and give you a nice show on this little couch. Okay, we're a little, here. our heads are a little spacey, I think. Who? Both of us. Well, this show is all about vulnerability. If you guys wanted perfection, you might need to tune into another channel. My God, I love it that you shot, called it a show. Miss Kim Firegroove, are you really here? Holy shit. Rob... Clarice, Here, Vio, Mom. I love you. Yay. <sighs> Thank you for tuning in. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. So I posted a beautiful, I, we pulled a card, meaning the whole collective. I shuffled them. One fell out from the Sacred Rebels deck. Alana. Hey, Miss Kim. Woo. Um, from the Alana Fairchild deck, and Alana Fairchild commented on the thing on on the on the post, and I got a little starstruck because she is a freaking wizard. I don't even know how she creates these card decks, but now I actually want to uh, want to find out more. Hey, Mike, how are you? So the card deck that started all of this off is. Oracle of the Unicorns. And since this is the card deck that started it all off, I thought tonight, why not draw from the unicorn cards, the unicorn deck? So, series very interested is, in the dogs. This is the show that you guys are missing out on. It happens but, uh, nightly. I mean, you're not missing out, clearly, because you can watch it. If you'd rather watch that than do yoga, we could just film that great we'll call it laughing yoga everybody let's have a good laugh real quick while Bodhi <laughs> does his thing <laughs> -hoo 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 -hoo. yeah go Bodhi laughing yoga <laughs> oh that's just too good Siri might have heat stroke they have no idea what they're actually doing the look of confusion on his face right now is so good well he's trying to hum it's her wrist. so good <laughs> oh, Buddha, Buddha got self-conscious with all the laughing. He's uh... a... <laughs> Look at Bodhi's face. Thank you. I'm looking. You can't oh really see it. I'm... Oh, right. And we have a card. Go, Bodhi. Go. Wow. And the card <laughs> is perfect for you, Bodhi. It's courage. Yeah. Yeah, courage, Bodhi. So let's see what the unicorns have to say. Courage. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. This situation requires you to respond from a place of love and courage and to trust that you are safe. Well, no shit. That is for real, no matter what the outcome. I think that statement right there sums this whole quarantine up. 
fear has been used to control you throughout lifetimes to ensure that you never get too powerful. The media bombards us with stories that can lower our vibration, and many of us as children have been programmed to believe the world is unsafe. Ooh. This unicorn and her guardian call upon you now to rise into your power in order to shatter the illusions of fear. When you remember who you are, an infinite, powerful being who can never truly be harmed, you become untouchable. Journey now in the knowledge that the world you live in is loving and kind, that others can be trusted, and that you are always protected. When you do this, you are free to live with an unshakable sense of security. You can pursue your dreams more fearlessly and take risks, knowing you can create the results you want and have no need to be afraid. Call on the unicorns to walk every step of your path by your side. Listen as they remind you to be courageous, stand in your power, and trust that you are safe. Ooh. That's why I love these unicorn cards. They're one of my favorites. Just that, that first whole portion. This, situa this quarantine situation requires you to respond from a place of loving courage and to trust that you are safe no matter what the outcome. Fear has been used to control you through lifetimes to ensure that you can never get too powerful. And, and then the other thing that really got me, as children, we have been programmed to believe the world is unsafe. And right now, I cannot imagine what children are feeling. And it's one of the things that sit, I sit with the most, and it is actually something that has taken me down many dog trails. Yeah, that card is no accident, Gretchen, no doubt. Um, is what the children must be feeling right now because there's so much fear and, the par and as a parent you feel it I know that even as dog parents our dogs feel when we are going through something but children especially it's so important that we try to show as much love as we can because love dispels fear. It really can do that. So if you see a child, if you are you know, out, smile at them, wave at them. If they're drawing, we have so many kids in, in the neighborhood that are drawing on the sidewalk with chalk. Beautiful pictures and I always jump the hopscotch or say hi or you know, add to their art, but really, do your best to interact. And parents, I just have to give you so much love. I can't imagine what it is like to go through this with a young child and to see the fear reflected in their eyes and just know that in every moment you are doing your best and you are doing such a huge service. So we love you. What a beautiful card. Thank you, unicorns. Anything you want to add to that, Siri? No. All right, well, with that being said, let's jump into yoga. Would you like me to start? You're the one. I'll start. So let's go ahead and hopefully you're settled into the most perfect place for practice tonight. Yes, it has majorum, marjoram, and wild orange in it. Um, oh. <laughs> Wonderful, Jane. Glad you enjoyed it. So finding the most perfect spot, sitting up tall, closing your eyes, and just rock back and forth a bit. Feel the earth beneath you, and gently pull the flesh out from underneath your thighs. Draw your shoulders back. Place your palms facing down on your knees just to ground you into this moment. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And sigh it out. Ah. And again. Ah. Deep inhale. Holding at the top, squeeze the breath around, sipping a little bit more. And just ask for courage to come into your body. Ask for courage to be your guide. Exhale the breath out. And 
and sitting and please turn your palms up and think about something that made you feel so grateful today. It could be flowers, a bird, food, a connection, whatever it is, feel that within you. Breathe it in, deep inhale. And open the mouth, sigh it out, share. together, slowly come down to the center of the chest. Let's inhale, rubbing the palms, fingers, knuckles, create some friction. And exhale back to stillness, feeling this flow of breath moving through. Imagine every breath bringing you deeper into this moment. Opening you up to receive this gift that you're giving to yourself. And just bow your chin to your chest and take a moment to thank yourself for showing up even when it's challenging, for having the courage to do that, to give back to you. Thank your body for its health and ability to heal. And just reflect on your journey, all that it took to make you this magnificent being sitting right here, right now. Take a moment to send yourself a prayer. And then lower your hands down onto the earth with the fingers spread wide. And with our heads bowed, we thank you, Mama Gaia Pachamama, for all you give us every day. Bless the water, bless the fire, bless the air, bless the earth, bless the ether. We thank you for connecting us, all of us right here connected by all of the elements and by our connection with you. So we thank you for that. And we see that you're healing as we step back and take a pause throughout this quarantine. And we're so grateful that you have the ability to breathe new life into your body. Send the earth some love. Inhale, roll our head up. Exhale, place your hands on your shoulders, four fingers down in front, thumbs down and back. We're going to inhale, pull your elbows together, lift them up, and exhale, round the shoulders down the back. Inhale, pull up, exhale, open the wings wide like a butterfly. Inhale, pull up, exhale, let's reverse that. elbows. Drop your right hand to the nape of your neck. Take your left hand on top of your elbow and inhale, pulling slightly on that right elbow. Open the shoulder.
What's up? Deep inhale. And exhale, fold forward, keeping the hands clasped. Cross-legged, you can either cross your legs or you can stack one foot in front of the other. And we're going to inhale, pulling the heart and chest forward, arch the back. Exhale, round the back, let the navel press the breath out. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. And let your movements be powerful. This exercise alone, if you just do this every day, rid the body of lower back pains. It really gets the breath moving and you are going to get shifted when you're done. So moving and breathing. Try to keep your chin parallel to the floor. And let the navel press the breath out, engaging the root block. Yeah. 
then taking a nice big deep inhale where you are and exhale you're going to roll up and over the legs and press into a tabletop position here on your mat And in this position, we're going to spread the fingers wide, knees underneath the hips, tuck the toes, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to lift the hips and press up into downward facing dog. And here, we're just going to hang out in this position for a little bit. So again, reconnect with the hands. Make sure those fingers are spread wide. Lift the hips up a little higher. Look down at the feet. Let your feet just be about six to eight inches apart. And try to wiggle the toes a little closer to the hands. And in this position, just begin to walk the feet in place. So bend one knee, keep the opposite leg straight. Bending the opposite knee, straightening. Just going like this back and forth, just opening up the backs of the legs. And then take a giant step forward into a forward fold here on your mat. And just take some long deep breaths here. Let the whole upper body sway left and right. Shift the weight into the toes. And shift the weight back into the heels. And with slightly bent knees on an inhale, we're going to roll the spine up. Take it slow, stack the vertebrae, roll the shoulders up to the ears, and then let them roll down the back. Reconnect down with the feet by shifting the weight forward and then back, and just let the whole upper body just sway left and right. Let your hands hang loose. halfway. Exhale, we're going to fold down. Good. Inhale, we're going to roll the spine up. Sweep the arms up in the same motion. Connect the palms above the head. Hands flow down the center line of the body. And all the way back down again. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold, stretch, reach, lengthen. Now inhaling halfway up. Exhale, place the hands down, step the feet back, plank position, deep inhale here, exhale, slowly ride that breath down, inhale, press up into cobra, keep the elbows bent, pull the shoulders down, lift the chin, lift the chest, gently snake the body left and right. Good, inhale, center, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Press back up to downward dog. We're going to inhale, stretch the right leg up into the air back behind us. Go ahead and bend that right knee and then fold that foot around the back side, opening up through the whole right side of the body. Take some long, deep breaths here. As you exhale, you're going to let that foot swing all the way to the front of the mat. Roll up onto the ball of the back foot, and we're going to roll up into crescent pose, a lunge position. So keep those hips pointing forward, hands float up into the sky, sink those hips down, take three deep breaths. shoulder up to the sky and extend that right arm straight up and take three deep breaths. And at the 
end of your next exhale, slowly lower down. Good. Go ahead and drop that left knee down to the earth. And now we're going to straighten that right foot and leg out and get a nice deep stretch through the whole back of that leg. stretch through the top of the left thigh. Good. Inhale. Come back to center. We're going to step the feet back into plank position. Top of a push-up. Inhale here. Exhale. Slowly lower down. Inhale. Push into the earth. Up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. And we're going to keep flying, but if you need to take a break, go ahead and do so. Inhale, left leg up into the sky. Go ahead and bend that knee, fold that foot all the way around the back. And take some long, deep breaths. foot forward to the front of the mat. We're going to roll onto the ball of the back foot and then roll up into crescent pose, a nice lunging position. So get a nice bend in that front knee, sink the hips down, keep the back leg straight. Inhale, hands up into the sky. rocking from side to side and then inhale nice and slow rolling the body all the way up as you exhale place the thumbs in the creases of your hips and inhale pull your shoulders back good 
exhale, roll, navel first, then chest, then chin comes down. Deep inhale. Sigh it out. Ah. Ah. Let's roll up again. Inhale, roll. Navel, then chest.
your right knee and place your, uh, sorry, left knee and place your left hand to the inside of that left foot. Now inhale, wiggle the left foot forward. And as you exhale, begin to sink. slowly turn to look over that right shoulder. Bend the right leg. Let's reach back with the right hand. Wiggle that foot into the tip of your arm or as close as you can to that. Inhale, left hand. And exhale, reaching behind the head. See if we can clasp the hands. Whew. I think the heat's helping with flexibility. Breathe here. some circles on the sky with your knee. And 
and stretch your entire body out on your mat. And breathe here. yogis great job so far thank you so much for sticking with it sticking with yourself with your practice uh, we are now going to invoke the breath with our favorite breathing technique the Wim Hof breath exercise if you're new to the breath what we're going to be doing is taking about 40 powerful breaths into the body through the mouth we also exhale through the mouth you're going to be laying down on your back and we're going to do it rhythmically. We do it together, and it sounds like this. Good. So go ahead and jump in right now. That's it. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Pull it in. Let it go. We're just going. Here we go.
is her day. But we now enter Earth's season. With a rumble and a shudder, the beast ignites at the stroke of midnight on the eve of her day. The mother shakes us awake. It is time to activate. Feel it in the trees, our interconnectedness, our divinity, this shared dream. Ground deep into the earth, the mycelium runs far beneath the concrete floor as our roots are to her core at the source. So ground down and pull up your life force to the center of your being and breathe. This is a new beginning, a chance to create something better and brighter than we had before. As we wander through darkness, feeling our way into this new paradigm, imagination is key. Plant your intentions deep within the womb of the new moon. Water your seeds. Soak in the springtime sun and surrender to the stillness of this cocoon. Unfurl and bloom by Nicole Janix. And taking a nice big inhale. And softly exhaling it out. Ah. Oh. Feeling those beautiful shifts of energy, waves flowing through you, around you. And just let the fingers and toes begin to wiggle and move, rolling the wrists, the ankles, the hands, and the feet. Stretch the arms up above and over the head and squeeze. And then relaxing the body as you bring your knees up into your chest, take your hands on top of your knee and just begin to move in one direction and the other direction. Go ahead and wrap the arms tightly around the legs. Give yourself a giant hug. Tell yourself, thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you're ready, begin to rock yourself up and down, all the way up, all the way down. Rock up and down on the spine five times. Up and down and up and down. Keep going, three more. And then you're gonna rock yourself all the way up into a seated position on your mat. Sitting up nice and tall, we're going to keep our eyes closed for these final moments of our practice tonight. Take your hands, rub them together, creating some warmth, some heat, some friction. Press the palms together, press the thumbs into the chest at the heart center. And as we breathe here together in these final moments, first, let's bless the space that held us in our practice today. We will bless the space shift and everything in it, and you bless wherever you are right now, home, living room, office, outdoors, wherever it is you're practicing, just send some gratitude outward. And then send some love and gratitude to somebody in your life that needs it right now. Maybe it's a family member remotely or a friend. Maybe it's someone you live with. Just send it to them. And then take some of this good energy we've cultivated tonight. We're going to spread it all across this land all the way across the seas far and wide till this entire planet is covered with this amazing, brilliant light of peace, love, joy, happiness, prosperity, harmony, health, health wellness, abundance, joy, love, gratitude, ecstasy, <laughs> and any other prayers you'd like to add to that. And lastly, we thank our teachers, our mentors, and all of those that have shifted us along this journey. Without them, we would not be here doing what we do. And then thank yourself fully, deeply, completely, Satnam. Satnam. Namaste. Namaste. Aho. Blessed be. Blessed be. And when you're ready, just let the eyes slowly blink open with a soft gaze looking around the room. 
And just taking a moment to thank yourself for tuning in and joining us tonight here on this transmission. And uh, we thank you so much, everybody, that stuck with it to the end, or even if you just started and decided to leave. We thank those of you, too. And uh, as always, we are Yoga Galactica, Siri, Kamala, all of our dogs are in the house. Yep, yep. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you join us on these shifts. Our next shift will be tomorrow morning at 11.11, but most likely around 11.15. But you can get yourself ready by 11.11 and tune in as soon as we go live from our Facebook page. As always, these classes are a gift from us to you during this quarantine time. And if you feel called to and you are able to, you can kindly leave a donation. Yogagalactica at gmail.com is our PayPal. Venmo is at Yoga Galactica, all one word. Or you can go to our website, yogagalactica.com, and find the donate tab there. We love you guys so, so much. Have a beautiful evening. Eat some good food. Spend some good time with your loved ones. Yeah. Read a book. Send us a message. We love to hear from you guys. All your comments are so heartwarming and they make it all worth it. Yeah, thank you for having the courage to show up and give back to you. I'll post the unicorn card that I read tonight. And we love you so much. Thank you, Gretchen. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Vio. Thank you, Sasha, Max, Jane, Miss Kim, Firebrew. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, we love you guys. Have a beautiful night. Yay! Mwah.